Hello! For today's tutorial, we will demonstrate how to conduct a leakage current test with Kikusui's TOS 930LC analyzer. This is the EUT we are going to use for the leakage current test. We'll use this type of cable to connect the TOS 930LC to the EUT. Connect the EUT's power cord to the AC line out terminal block on the rear panel. Firmly connect the power cord to the EUT. Connect the L, N and ground properly. The connection is now completed. Connect the insulation transformer or AC source to the AC line in inlet with the power cord from the EUT. This is the test lead for the TOS 930LC. Instead of using a pin connector, you can use a clamp style connector. Connect the lead to the A probe terminal, which is color coded for your convenience. Clip it to the EUT's chassis. On the panel, select LC for leakage current, then select TC for touch current. Next, select your desired network based on your test requirements. Toggle them by turning the knob. For the purposes of this video, we will use network A. You can select the polarity as well. You can toggle through fault conditions as well as probe networks. If both line outs are highlighted in red, you require two probes. If not, one is fine. For this test, we selected Enclosure Live Network Terminal, which requires only one probe. First, set the upper limit current. For this test, we will apply 5 milliamps. Then, set the test time by turning the knob or inputting it with the number keys. Here, we set it for 5 seconds. Make sure the line out is set to off. If it is set to on, you will not be able to initiate the test. When you have finished your desired settings, press the start button to initiate the test. After the test concludes, you can view the test results by pushing the memory button. You can save these results to a USB drive. Another application we will show you is how to measure touch current when you have an EUT capacity that exceeds 1500 VA or has three phase input. You will be able to conduct the touch current test by utilizing the meter mode. First, select LC, then choose Meter Mode, then repeat the same selection process. For this test, the EUT has changed to a much higher capacity device and we are now required to use two probes. Make sure the connections are secure. The red terminal connects to the metal chassis of the EUT. The black terminal connects to the input of the EUT. Change the measurement points to the L, N and ground. This concludes our tutorial. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.